Hello, and welcome to another edition of No New News. I'm your host, Newsworthy. Let's take a look at what's not new news. In politics, President Obama's approval rating is finally up 15 points ever since the new season of scandal began. It appears his political supporters like the idea of a corrupt government and an adulterous commander-in-chief. Now stepping out on Hillary and Laura, I can understand, but there is absolutely no reason to ever leave the White House with Michelle Obama around. I mean, good God, look at that bod. <clears throat> what a brother can do with that. Moving along in entertainment news, Dr. Dre appears to be rap's first billionaire after Apple purchased his headphone company Beats by Dre for a record three billion dollars. When asked what's next for the billionaire rap mogul, he said maybe now I can finally finish detox. On to the East Coast, where Rockefeller Records' Jay-Z just released his new video collaborating with Beyonce and Solange, titled Elevators. Sometimes ish goes down when it's a billion dollars on the elevator. Kanye West and Kim Kardashian have finally tied the knot. This happened in Italy recently. Kim hopes it lasts more than 72 days, and Kanye hopes this will help him break into the fashion industry. Ray J sent the couple a wedding gift with a note attached that read, Congrats. I guess you can turn a hoe into a housewife. In sports, Donald Sterling has sold the Clippers to Steve Ballmer for a record $2 billion. He originally paid $12.5 million for the team in 1981. When asked about his involvement with V. Stiviano, Sterling replied, These hoes ain't loyal. Well, that'll do it for tonight's edition of No New News. I'm your host, Newsworthy. And remember, if it's new news, it ain't newsworthy.